What is going on guys? Today it's Jake and in this video I'm going to be talking about 2015 Call of Duty news. Included in this bonus 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 is a theory of mine. So I'm going to get into the theory after I get into the news. So let's get started. So an email was sent of news to of the new Call of Duty talking about the whole plot of the new Call of Duty and what it's going to be called and everything. And this guy on the inside, we don't know if this is true or not, if it's uh, legit, but a guy on the inside sent this email to this YouTuber. I'll have him in the description, but I'll have it on screen. He sent this email to this guy, this YouTuber, and he claims to be on the inside and knowing uh, details about the next Call of Duty. Now, you guys are most likely not going to be able to read this, so I'll read it for you. So, starting off with the email of the new next Call of Duty, it says, The code name is Project Backfall, but the game is officially titled Black Ops 3. So, it is officially Black Ops 3, if this is true. In it, you play as Ryan Mason, grandson of Section, so I'm guessing it's the grandson of the original Mason, I'm not sure on that. But the game is set in 2145, so it's the year 2145, when severe tensions between Germany, under the power of the Fourth Reich, finally makes a drastic or disastrous move against the rest of the world. I won't go too much into detail about this part, just to keep a little bit of the story surprise. Anyways... Ryan is sent back in time with the MDT. That's how Zombies is tied into the campaign. It technically isn't a separate storyline, but it does have a dedicated game mode where you play as the original four characters, which is Tank, Nikolai Dempsey, and Rick Toffin, and I'm really excited about that if this is real. But anyways, going back to it. He then finds himself 102 years in the past, in the year 1943. He now has to change the course of history or die trying. This COD isn't a regular World War II game. It deals with the altered storyline from the end of Origins in the Zombies game mode, Origins. Is this reality? Dr. Maxis finished the DG2 and gave it to the Nazis for usage. You have to stop that, basically. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the Call of Duty Zombies storyline, then you know, or you don't know, <laughs> that the whole reason 935, which I'm going to get into with my theory, is to improve the human condition. Now, Dr. Maxis on the map Dairis, or Duris, my bad, is trying to mass-produce the Wonder Waffle DG2, the electric wonder weapon that... Uh, that uses electricity to zap the zombies so he's basically trying to mass produce that and in this reality this or in this uh, email that becomes a reality and you have to try to stop that because let's just go off the topic really quick if the Nazis were able to have the wonder waff then they would obviously win the war so that's what you're trying to prevent so going back to the message or the email the legendary choice system from Black Ops 2 comes back, but it is drastically improved thanks to time jumps between the mind of Ryan and the soldier in 2145, you can see the effects of your decisions. This is how it was made into a future game and a World War II game. Time jumps rule. So basically... It's a World War II game and a futuristic game. So, if there are is that is, uh, there is that group of people that think it should be in the future, and then there's that group of people that think it should be in World War II. Well, in this, it has both. So there you go. If you're worried about the storylines of the first two Black Ops games being wiped out, don't worry. Since Samantha made a rift in time-space continuum, it's a different reality, thus a different timeline. So if you also aren't familiar with the storyline, in the end of Origins, Samantha wipes out time and space and creates her own reality to just, and erases everything that's happened in the past and makes a reality of her with her best friend Eddie and her dad in a house playing with toys so she wiped out so this creates a new time continuum 
which is taking place in uh, this this uh, email or this next game mode if this is legit multiplayer has been redesigned you can choose to do certain missions of the campaign in multiplayer lobbies think titanfall but executed way better it has also been ungraded to 24 versus 24 in most lobbies yes theater mode is back don't worry so i like multiplayer i'm pretty good at it but 24 versus 24 does not sound very fun to me honestly and then it goes on to say oh also don't believe any cover art leaks yet a cover hasn't been designed yet so even if this isn't legit this uh email that's legit that's saying no cover art is going to be created what is it nine months before the game so don't worry about uh leaks or false advertisement like if you see a leaked picture leaked air quotes it's probably not real until we get about six five months away from the release <laughs> so there we go we have confirmation this might not be legit but if it is i made a video about it <laughs> i could say that i made a video about it uh anyways so that's basically it. Summary or conclusion is the zombies and camp uh, zombies campaign is kind of mixed together. So events from the last Black Ops 2 zombies results in the new campaign, which is actually very cool. If you guys aren't, if you guys don't like that idea, you really have to play the Call of Duty Zombies storyline. This is actually a great idea, and I hope it's very, it's this is true because this is a very great. <laughs> this is this would be awesome, man. All right, guys. I said that I was gonna have a theory, but this video is way too long, so I'm going to make another video. It's going to be released right after this one there will be a link on the end of this video to that one click on it and watch my theory of how zombies is going to be make a return and how everything works out and why why is the call of duty zombies connected with the campaign so if you guys are interested in that make sure you guys click on the video on the end of this video and if you guys enjoy this video make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you're new if you haven't seen my content before and you want to watch more of me subscribe also if you guys <laughs> if you guys want to there's a Google Plus link in the description make sure you click on that and follow me on Google Plus and uh, yeah <laughs> that's it anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys subscribe and check out some other videos of mine if you enjoyed and I'll talk to you guys next time Goodbye. I'm out of here.